I will always put you first because your happiness is essential to my own. I love you. Can you sum up how you guys kind of first met? <laughs> The day I met Katie Beth was the beginning of what turned out to be a really beautiful thing. I wanted someone to travel the world with and just enjoy our life together. And I'm so eternally happy that I found that in Daniel. Home is not a physical location. Home is where the other person is. It doesn't really matter where we are physically. If we're together, that's all it's important. Got our license! Officially licensed. Woo! Ready to be married. We decided to come to Santa Cruz, California to get married in the Redwoods. Daniel um, grew up in Southern California and then came up to Northern California and went to University of Santa Cruz for a few years before he came to Tennessee. One night we were talking and Daniel was just like, where do you want to go? What would be magical and fun and beautiful and exciting? And I was like, California, let's go to the Redwoods. It's, I've never been, I want to go. There is this sense of, of age and timelessness that is really special. You don't see a lot of places. It's a beautiful world, and this is one of the most beautiful places in it. When we first met, we were both at MTSU taking a Sculpture One 3D design class. I remember Daniel on the first day introducing himself, and I was already crushing super hard. He was so cute before I ever heard you talk. I was looking at you, you walked into the classroom with a, uh, a yellow jacket on, and you were smiling and chatting as usual. I couldn't take my eyes off you. We got paired up on a project. Immediately it was apparent that we could collaborate and work well together, and um, we had a lot of fun working together. We got a good opportunity <laughs> because, you know, it's studio art class, so six hours of class a week, and then we had to work on the projects outside of that mm -hmm. for uh, many hours. Yeah. So we got to know each other really quickly. Fast forward, after MTSU, we both had some health issues during that last year. I ended up having some serious surgery for my Crohn's disease, and Daniel was there every step of the way, driving me to doctor's appointments, taking me to the hospital, making sure that I had all the food and drinks and everything that I needed right beside the bed. Some of the hardest times that I went through early on in our relationship was when I was trying to finish up school, and I was also trying to work. I was keeping really bad hours and not sleeping a lot, and we were living in a little apartment, and I knew that I, I could not be okay. And she would take care of things, whether that meant literally supporting me when I collapsed a few times or giving me help with my projects, both in school and professionally. Trust and communication has always been very important. We sit down and discuss our emotions and feelings very often. It's vital, I think, having a healthy, happy relationship. We're lucky enough to have my sister join us. Um, she was able to take off time from her uh, medical school residency she's about to start. So she's here with us and she's gonna be our witness. So we did need a witness <laughs> to get married in California and um, we're excited to have her um, here to um, enjoy it with us. 
We're gonna go to the park, and I am ecstatic to see the redwoods for the first time. Just be in awe of this beautiful place. most looking forward to getting married. <laughs> I never thought I would say that. <laughs> I think a lot of my friends and family that know me know that it was never something I was looking for in a partner. The ceremony itself and the legal paperwork was not that important to me. What was important was finding someone who I could work with and live with and be happy and enjoy life with and that's what I found. Leading up to that moment where we make that commitment to each other, I know that I will feel overwhelmed with happiness and be completely and utterly lost in that moment. And that moment will end, but not in a sad way. We get to transition to a life together where those moments that we want to just stay in can be every day. From the moment that we first met in that faded studio art class, I had the strongest gut feeling that you were more than just a classmate, more than just a friend, more than all the rest. I know without a doubt that I am home when I'm with you. Daniel, supporting you and being your partner has been the highest honor and greatest joy of my life. I cannot wait to live the rest of my life with you. I promise to always remember how lucky we are. I promise to always love you, my darling Daniel. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Katie Beth, 4,220 days ago, I saw you for the first time. You were wearing a bright yellow jacket that matched the joy and enthusiasm for life that sparked from every movement and radiates from every work. I will always be there for you, to share in your joy, cheer your triumphs, and hold you up when things are hard. I will always put you first, because your happiness is essential to my own. I love you. talked about our relationship a lot, but never really described it. I've always thought about it in terms of a real, true partnership. Those early lessons from when we were in school working on projects were all about finding ways to talk about what we both wanted and figuring out how to get there. Yeah. And finding ways to do that together has been, I mean, the story of, of us, really. Mm -hmm. The way Daniel feels like home to me is that he is always accepting, kind, compassionate, empathetic, and everything that he brings to our relationship, I, I know he's always going to be there. I know I can always trust him. I know that I will love him no matter what, and he will love me no matter what. We work so well together as a team. Yeah, I couldn't ask for a better partner. When I think about the future that I get to spend with Katie Beth, it's an infinite expanse of wonderful moments. We've had a wonderful time in the last more than a decade making those memories, and I know we will make so many more. I am nervous about a lot of things. I'm uncertain, but with Katie Beth, there's no uncertainty.